Hello, my friends. This is your new best friend, Pong Lizardo. And today, we are doing a update test video of the Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice. Once again, we are doing this audio test in my flat that has zero audio treatment. I may or may not edit the audio of this video, so for the exact parameters of this test, please check the doobly-doo or the description, the blah, the text of the video below. <laughs> All right, so once again, if you are new to this channel, and for those of you who are enrolled or rather uh, subscribed to the channel for a long time, let me just give the newbies uh, the spiel for this channel, which is I won't give you my positive and glowing opinion regarding these products. I won't even give you my conclusion. And that is because I don't want to color your judgment. Because, <coughs> sorry, most of the reviewers online, here's story time. Most of the reviewers online, they tend to talk up the microphone and they kind of downplay the negative sides. So I don't want to color your judgment and I don't want to bias uh, what you are hearing. And that is because the reason why I have a lot of mics and why I started putting my audio tests in YouTube is because I was sadly influenced by these influencers, YouTubers, who tell you, oh, you know, this mic is very good, here's my positive opinion, and here's the negative side. So if you like blah, 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 you know, it, it really biases your opinion. And I hope you found this video before you watch those, watched those guys, because what we do here in this channel is we take the product out of the box, put them in the mic, attach them to the recorder, and let's um, rather do this test in front of the camera. So you are hearing, hearing, uh, my throat is kind of dry, too much tea, uh, hearing what this microphone would, would sound like in a uh, real use case. I don't say real life scenario, but this is a real use case. And I'm doing a lot of talking so you get a baseline of how it really performs throughout the throughout normal usage. Right now I'm talking near the microphone, two fingers, yeah, two fingers away from the microphone and I it's it's slightly at the side of my mouth, but I can still call it like I'm in front of the microphone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly step to the side to see how much of my voice the microphone picks up. So now I'm all the way to the side and I'm going to walk here, here on this side. So at least you get to hear how it sounds at this side, which I guess it will be the same on the other side since this has a cardioid polar pattern. And now I'm back to the center of the microphone. So what I'm going to do now is proximity effect. So this is, I need to be careful talking like this because otherwise I would clip it. So this is how the Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice sounds like when you are directly on top of it. My um, mustache, mustache and beard is actually touching the grill of the microphone. And once again, this is how the Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice sounds like when you're really, really close to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step back while talking so we get to hear how... Mm, mm, uh, whatever, just let's just step back. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm really bad at doing videos. I don't even know why I became a YouTuber or why I'm doing this. So I ran out of cable now and it is arms length away from the microphone. So let's do that one more time. I'm going to step closer and closer to the microphone and now I'm back to it. So the other thing that um, I want to do for this is of course, silence.
for your reference, let's listen to the audio from the camera. Once again, my camera is the Canon M6. And right now, you are hearing the audio from the camera. What I want to do for uh, right now is actually test how the microphone would reject audio directly behind it. And pump, 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 pump. let me just show you a video. So that's the speaker that we are going to use. Let's turn it on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to continue talking while the video is playing in uh, the background. So at least you get to hear how much of my voice is being picked up by the microphone and how much of the unwanted sound is being picked up by the microphone. Right now, Gura is... Um, uh, Gura. Um, rather, the volume of the, the phone or rather the speaker is set to the halfway point. And uh, for your reference, this is what the camera or the M6, the Canon M6 is picking up. And uh, it's kind of distracting, talking and uh, trying to monitor myself at the same time hearing this, this uh, distracting sound. Well, I like her voice, but still distracting. So anyway, now back to the Behringer XM8500. Ultra voice and what I'm going to do while I'm talking I'm going to drop the volume of the speaker and continue talking and then I'm going to raise it all right dropping the volume right now and dropping 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 and now we're on zero so now we're going to raise the race raise the volume little by little so I'm raising the volume right now and now we are at the halfway point of the volume rocker. Now I'm going to continue until we reach the maximum volume. So this is uh, at maximum volume right now and this is how much of my voice and how much of the outside noise is being picked up by the Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice. And now what I'm going to do is shut up so we can listen to the um, off-axis rejection of the microphone. Dropping it now. All right. So now we are at the mid, mid, midway point of the volume rocker. Dropping. Now at zero. So let's go back up. maximum volume now we will drop it back to the middle all right so let's stop guru talking even if i want to listen to her all day okay so what i want to do now is test the behringer xm8500 ultra voice with the cloud lifter and the the fat head <laughs> the the cloud lifter and the fat head but since i threw away the box of this microphone a long long time ago what i'm going to do is this ah, i'm going to read something from my book when i say my book i mean a book i actually wrote link in the description of the video below by my book and uh, through the magic of editing, we are going to compare the natural, natural, I mean, without the pre-amplifier, uh, the, the XM8500 without the pre-amplifier and with the cloud lifter and the fat head. So let me just read, let's call this default, the default setting, <laughs> setting of the Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice. Oops, sorry, I bumped into the thing. I don't know if that was picked up. One meal a day by Pong Lizardo. One meal a day by Pong Lizardo. One meal a day by Pong Lizardo. You want to be healthy, but you have a full-time job. You work on average 10 hours per day, sleep 8 hours, and then commute for an hour. That's already 19 hours, and you still have to eat and shit. Gym time is not exactly how you want to spend the remaining hours of your precious time.
And who the hell would have energy to exercise after a 10-hour grind and an awful commute? Your monthly paycheck flies off the window as you sing to the tune of Idina Menzel's Let It Go. Paying an arm and a leg and a firstborn child for a pound of quinoa and the latest keto vegan crap is not on top of your budget. There is a way to be healthy that's simple, cheap, and doesn't require hours at the gym. It's not even a diet. You can eat whatever you want, however much you want. Whether your goal is to lose weight or simply to be healthy, eating one meal a day, OMAD, will help you achieve your goal and more. All right, now silence. Now let's listen to silence. Now let's listen to silence. There you have it, my friends, the Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice. Now it's time for the YouTube line. Like the video, share, and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to smash, click, tap, whatever that little bell so you get notified when a new video comes up. I promise you, I won't spam you with videos. I only make videos when it makes sense. Uh, to hell with the algorithm, but I just don't want to spam you. Who has time for that, right? And another thing is, if you like any of the equipment we discuss in this video, please buy it through the affiliate link down in the description of every video in this channel. Another thing, I want to entice you to enroll to my audio course, where I show you how I made the Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice sound decent without fancy acoustic treatment, and without sophisticated audio gear. Link to the course can be found in the description of the video below. And if for some reason you don't want to help out or you don't want to give me a few bucks in exchange for my audio course, um, there's a Skillshare link down in the description of this video. Just go ahead, find that, and you'll get a free premium Skillshare subscription. With that subscription, you can take my course for free on top of the other courses in Skillshare. So just go ahead and find that link if you don't want to spend money on me. And remember to buy all the equipment we've talked about using the link or rather the affiliate link also in the description of the video below. <laughs> How many times have I said that? Okay, promise I will improve how I end the videos uh, on the next one. So with that, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Ciao.